Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Daddy Chop. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down pretty much my workflow with the SP404. I've had a couple people ask how I make beats with it. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple different ways. I wanna apologize for not uploading any videos recently. Uh, my hard drive just crashed. I lost a lot of footage. I lost some shows. I lost studio sessions, videos I wanted to edit. But nonetheless, man, we gonna keep rocking. Stay tuned to the video, let me know what y'all think, and I'm going to see you on the next slide. Before I even start making anything, I want to show you guys how I have everything connected. So right here on the back of the SP, I got a USB-C running to my computer. I run my computer settings on the 404. I make that the interface, so I can now sample anything from my computer onto here. I also have some output cables going straight into my interface i have a steinsberg got the steinsberg connected to the computer and now i'm gonna just see what i could do maybe look for a sample or something find an empty bank and just start fresh so i got a sample right here i like the drums on it i'm gonna go ahead and record it straight into my sp hit record find an empty pad Hit play. Now that I selected the hat that I wanted specifically, I'm going to go ahead and copy that onto a new pad. And then I'm going to get the hat right next to it. And there you have it. I went ahead and added some effects on the hi-hats. I got the cassette simulator and I got a super filter on there. Here's without it. So I'm going to go ahead and resample that. And then I'm going to chop up those two hats into these two pads right here. Resample onto a pad. Same thing with the snare, go ahead and record it into a pad. Add the same effects, the filter and the cassette, resample. Added a lower release to it. So I got some kicks, do the same thing, record, got one right here, I think I got another one right here. Two separate kicks, I'm going to put both of them in their own pad. So I got the first kick, here's how it sounds raw, I'm going to go ahead and put some effects on there. 303 super filter resample I wanted to create a new groove with the hats so I'm gonna lay that down resample this one right here shift 16 pad record the drums Resample. Record the drums. Resample. Go ahead and loop that up. 
So now that I have the sample I want to use, one way that you could load it into the SP404, you could download the Mark II app, and then you could drag it straight onto the bank. Now sometimes there have been instances where I try to drag a sound onto the pad, like maybe for example a beat, and it doesn't always work. So when that happens, I just record it straight from the computer audio onto the SP404. That's one way to work around it. I used to always just record it straight into my 404, but my homie Haru told me that sometimes when you record it like that, rather than placing it onto here, the original wave, that you may lose frequencies, you may lose certain sounds in the song. So I don't know how true that is. I believe him, he's a knowledgeable guy. So I went ahead and just threw that right on here through the 404 app. So I got my sample right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the beginning. So when I chop it, I don't have just this empty space right here. So when you truncate something, you're pretty much just deleting everything that's not selected between the, the markers, if that makes sense. Now that I have everything, I'm going to start putting them on gate. Gate pretty much just makes it stop whenever you're letting go of the pad. So you hear this is going to keep playing it gate stops and I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of them down to 93 which could be tedious I know with the update there's a way to grab everything on the bank and mess with the parameters but I don't have mine updated so I gotta do it one by one. Now that I got that out the way, I'm gonna go ahead and hear how it sounds over the drums. Honestly think it sounds okay I don't think it sounds too crazy but nonetheless I'm just go ahead and play something resample onto a new pad I don't know what I'm gonna do hey y'all yeah look hey y'all hey y'all Now that I got the beat, I'm going to go ahead and add some sauce to it, compressor, final sim. Here's how it sounds without it. Sounds cool. Here's how it sounds with it. I think it sounds better. Resample to a new pad. So that's one way I like to make beats on the 404. Another way I think is pretty effective and fun. Hold shift. Import. So you could also do this on the 404 app. You got drums, you could load them onto the pad. But I'm going to go ahead and load them from my SD card. I got an E1 drum kit right here. Sounds fire. You could preview the sample by clicking a sub pad. Select it. Put on the empty pad. And I'm going to go ahead and chop that up and I'll be right back. So now that I got my drums ready. I'm going to go ahead and play the sample. Let me just resample now. 
hit the sample and then I'm gonna pretty much just drum along while the sample plays and then just loop a portion that I like. I also think this beat is just okay. I do want to make some more beats, but I got to go ahead to a video shoot. So if this is the end of the video, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm going to drop some more stuff soon, man. Stay tuned. But if not, then catch me on the next clip. A few moments later. All right, y'all. We back with it. Just got back from the AG Club music video shoot. If you guys aren't familiar with them, go ahead and check them out. AG Club. I ain't never going to change. Jody said I ain't even got to change. So I ain't never going to change from. Change a little bit. Oh my, make some adjustments. We were just celebrating 925 day, which is the area code of where I'm from. If you don't know that we back to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the same drums from the last beat. I'm gonna just make a different beat with it. I heard this sample that I think would, would sound good with it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and load that sample in here, and then I'm gonna mess with those drums. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next slide. I got this sample right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch it up. I think 111. We've like two we've like we've told each other. 113, I'm gonna go ahead and chop it. Nah, not like that. Delete that. My tops here. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. So since I wasn't recording that, but I do want to use it, just hit that mark button and it picks up everything that you played. I don't have the the current update on my SP, but with the newest update, it allows you to capture more time, which is clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and record that into an empty pad. So right now, the sample is a lot louder than the drums. <laughs> 1 thing you could do is you could turn down a sample But what I'm gonna do instead Leave the sample how it is might turn it down later, but pretty much just add some effects to it to make it louder I like doing that 303 Put another one on there maybe a compressor. I'm gonna compress it later anyways damn Damn, I don't 
I don't know. Fuck it. So I'm gonna resample those onto a new pad. I don't even know how that's gonna sound. That's kind of many. Let me chop that up and I'll grab back. So I'm currently cutting off the tail from the hi-hat because there's a high frequency in one of the frequencies. Damn, that don't even make sense. Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. So I'm cutting off the tail on the hi-hat because there's a very high frequency towards the end. A little more like it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go in there. Fuck yeah. Excuse my language. But now let's see how it sounds with this. I might have to mess with these a little bit. For sure, let me see, uh, let me see what I could cook up with this. I don't even know how this shit gonna sound, but... Nonetheless, that's the whole point. We'll throw a compressor on here. Make that shit knock. Fuck it, I'll throw the 303 effect on there too. Why not? So these drums still ain't really knocking how I want them to. I'm gonna go ahead and filter out the kick. Just to give it some dump. So I think that sounds all right. Let me go ahead and loop that up. There we have it. There's that beat. cut the video off but I also just want to make a quick loop so I'm gonna just go ahead and make a quick loop this is the side miss and this is the same sample as earlier I think the second beat if I'm not mistaken Get back, place that anywhere. Uh, I'm not even gonna play that again. I was just, you know, spur of the moment, I guess. Now, let me go back to the actual sample. So, I'm not gonna drag this sample in through the Mark II app. I'm gonna just play it on my computer and sample it. So, I got the loop right here. 
just sped it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and beef it up with the 303, maybe a compressor. See how that sounds. Compressor might be a little overkill. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the cassette. Resample. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty much it. I guess the only thing that's we need is somebody to rap on it. So, go ahead and try to do a little freestyle. Turn that beat down. Hey, y'all. Look. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Damn. Ain't that a bitch? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I seem to have lost my place. So I'll start over. Hey, yo, making beats for the YouTube. Look, anybody can do it, even YouTube. I get my drums in this vinyl. Might fuck around and get a record off of vinyl. This there Freddie Herbert, the straight life. Man, the way we can't done it, straight tripe. Different sample slice. I do it from the morning to the night. 24 hours, seven days a week. Yo, I probably make like a hundred beats. I don't even got nothing left to say. Big Daddy Top, go hit subscribe, leave a comment today. Yeah. Come on, man, you can't keep running away. It's your boy Big Daddy Top. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna really try to drop some more videos for y'all. I've been saying that every video, but you can't keep running away, man. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Have a very cash day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Why are you running? Why are you running?